I am here for this honest review of Tarte's new face tape foundation. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariam. If you couldn't tell already, I am sick. So if you thought I looked sick, you were right, I am. So please excuse my voice, my looks, everything that comes with being sick. We are doing a full, thorough, honest review of Tarte's new face tape foundation, which released a year after their unfortunate shape tape foundation fiasco. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I have a video about that right here. In the meantime, I wanna get down to the nitty gritty. I wanna give you guys the truth, cause Team Truth, I am here for you, and I know you're here for this. Stay until the end of the video, for a 12 hour wear test today. Remember to subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I love you guys, let's get started. So I got this massive PR package in the mail from Tarte. We have 50 mini face tape foundation sizes here. First things first, let's talk about this shade range, shall we? Judging by this picture right here, we have three different color categories, fair to light, medium to tan, deep to rich. In the fair to light category, I see a lot of fair skinned models, Caucasian. In the medium to tan, I'm still seeing a lot of Caucasian, but I'm starting to see some women of color here. Here. Okay, okay. In the deep to rich, I'm seeing a lot of women of color. It does seem to be much more exclusive. I know a lot of people decided to rule Tarte out altogether for being a white girl brand. And I understand that, I get that. The whole situation was just very unfortunate and very sad, but it really turned the industry upside down. It really made a lot of other brands kind of rethink their strategies. And so you saw a whole emergence of these brands coming out with giant shade ranges that were very much inclusive, that were catering to everybody, which is really nice. So the fact that Tarte is kind of jumping on that bandwagon and they're turning things around and they seem genuinely apologetic and they seem to be owning this mistake is a nice thing to see. So I am not gonna jump on the hate bandwagon. I am gonna give them another chance because that's just who I am. I believe in positivity. I think you guys do too. That said, I wanna give it a fair honest review so that we can see if this foundation is actually worth your time and money. So let's go over some facts. This face tape foundation is $39. It will retail at Ulta. I believe it's gonna be an Ulta exclusive launching on February 17th with a brand new formula. So this is not the same as last year's Shape Tape Foundation. And it is also not the same formula as the original Shape Tape Concealer, which is what I was secretly hoping for because that concealer is bomb and it wears bomb as a foundation. If you don't believe me, I have a video on that as well. But going back to Face Tape Foundation, new formula, 12 hour power. We'll see about that. Hydrates all day because it has hyaluronic acid. Hmm, this makes me wonder, is this foundation oily skin friendly? So these are all the concerns that I wanna address with this video. Without further ado, let's just jump right into this. I'm like, pause, which shade am I now? Now that there are five different undertones, B for beige, N for neutral, H for honey, S for sand, and G for golden, I'm torn. Am I a sand or am I a golden? The golden is set to be a very warm olive undertone and the sand is supposed to be a very warm yellow. I would say I'm somewhere in between. And the usual Tarte foundation shade that I wear is my medium tan sand, which is a 36S. They did send me that one. But now that there's a G, I wonder, could I possibly get a better shade match than this medium tan sand? That said, I'm gonna go back to my card and I am gonna see if any of these ladies resemble my skin tone. This is what 36S looks like, medium tan sand. I actually know this woman. I don't think we are the same skin tone at all. The 35G, on the other hand, looks kind of promising. Maybe I should try that one. Let's go for it. So here is my 35G, looking rather good. And here is my medium tan sand. Wow, looking very orange. I think I found a new match. Before I begin, I'm just gonna apply some primer. I'm gonna use this one that I got in Hong Kong, Prima Vista Long Keep Base UV. I know that this primer works with most foundations, so the reason why I'm applying it on is because I'm trying to get a fair assessment of this foundation. So now I'm gonna grab this tiny 35G medium golden face tape foundation. I'm gonna dot a little bit, an equivalent of one pump, all over my face. Let's do half pump more. And I think I'm gonna try to blend it out with this included sponge. The coverage is really beautiful. It is indeed quite full. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way and it's doing a great job of covering everything, even my freckles, even my sick under eye right here. That is looking 
rather pretty. Observing it closely, I like this coverage even more than that hourglass foundation that I just recently reviewed. It's not as great on the pores as the hourglass foundation, but the coverage is truly full in the very sense of the word. With this foundation, you definitely need to use less product than you would with other full coverage foundations, and it really does cover beautifully. I do see that it's emphasizing a little bit of this dry patch that I have here. Keep that in mind if you are a dry skin type. It doesn't set super quickly. You have a little bit of play time. And hello, did you see how nicely it just covered up that red spot that I had above my eyebrow? That's pretty impressive. I suddenly don't look sick. I wonder if I would need one more layer if I was breaking out heavily right now. And I wonder what that second layer would look like if I applied it on. Just for shits and giggles. Let's add a pinch more. Like right here, like right here. You know, not that I need it, but I may want it from time to time. And also, let's see how that blends out with a brush. I'm using my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Number no. 7 brush. Love this one, by the way. Really, really, really impressive coverage. I like the fact that the second layer does doesn't saturate the color, so it doesn't make it more yellow. And I think this is a pretty good match to my skin tone, which is currently in its natural state. Not tanned, not self-tanned, just my actual winter pale skin. All right, since we're on the topic of Shape Tape and Face Tape and Tarte, of course I'm gonna use my beloved Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, because it's the best in the West and also in the east, south, and north. I'm gonna just brighten under my eyes, in between the brows, as I usually do, chin chin. I would even go as far as saying that this foundation's formula is very similar to the consistency of the original Shape Tape Concealer. It's not the same, it's not as concentrated, but it's definitely a complementary formula. So disgustingly congested right now. Feels like my head is a balloon. To set my face, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier. I'm not doing anything new or different. Just wanna use familiar products that work well so that I can really give this foundation a chance. One thing I will say is that this foundation isn't as pore perfecting as the Shape Tape is. If you don't believe me, then just watch my Shape Tape Concealer as foundation video. You can see my pores here. They are a little bit more emphasized than when I didn't have the foundation on, which is kind of a bummer, but that happens with most matte full coverage foundations and oily porous skin like mine. So I'm not too mad at it. Although I will say that that hourglass foundation that I just tried was a little bit more pore perfecting. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury powder all over just to smooth out and perfect everything. I'm gonna apply my beautiful Dior bronzer. Clearly we need to see how this foundation acts with other products on top of it, such as bronzers, such as highlighters, such as powders. So far it's performing really well, I would say, but honestly, I need that 12 hour wear test to really truly determine what is happening here. Also Fenty just came out with a really pretty highlighter. Whoa, this looks like trophy wife, but pink. I'm here for it. <laughs> Let's observe it closely. Okay guys, I am back in my filming room after a pretty long wear test. Let's come in real close to my skin and let's observe what it's looking like at this point after almost 12 hours of wearing this new face tape foundation by Tarte. Excuse my appearance, it's obviously been a very long day and clearly I've eaten, so disregard. But looking just at the skin, you can definitely tell that there's a bit of separation of the foundation happening in this area. The pores are most certainly very visible. The foundation looks like it clings very much to the pores areas. I would say it's not a favorite foundation that I have recently tried, but I'm not gonna rule it out completely. It is a pretty good foundation. I wouldn't necessarily wear it on the center of my face. I would probably only wear it on my forehead or on the perimeter of my face where my skin is a little bit more smooth. And I think you can tell why. Overall, I would rate this foundation a 6.57 out of 10. I think pretty long lasting. I think it's pretty good for normal skin, for dry skin, and also for oily skin. However, you can definitely see that I am looking pretty oily at this point. Right, Hero? He agrees. That said, those are my final two cents. Hero! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. While you're here, don't forget to check out some of my other videos right there. More reviews, more more you. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.